Hello friends, in this video I will be showing you practically how we can bound the data to the particular uh, components like list box, drop down or radio group button. So I have this um, project created so I will be adding one component like let's take a list box from the basic component and just drag in and drop here. So initially it will be a empty means there will be no values assigned to. So the first way, there are two ways to add the data. One is static or hard coded values and the other one is the dynamic uh, which is coming from the data sources. The first way means if you go to the display in this uh, uh, display properties, there is the items. So if you click on this uh, button, you will get a pop up where we can add uh, manual values like insert. If we say means I, I wanted to add a USA and uh, text is uh, means the value which I am going to uh, display there. <coughs> then I will add okay so uh, this is uh, the default value means we can change means if you want to uh, display uh, Russia as a default first value then we can set as default otherwise we can change it to uh, USA so this is uh, we can move up and down uh, these values if you want to and so this will this will get add these values this is a hard coded values which we can add <coughs> okay so when we run this we'll get these values in this uh, list box okay so the other way, uh, one uh, other way is, let me uh, remove this. Okay, so the other way is uh, the getting the values from the data source and getting uh, displayed it here on, on this. So whenever uh, we launch the application on startup, we can write a script uh, to embed, uh, means to add these values to this particular list box. So there is an option means on event, there is on startup <clears throat> so on startup means what we can do um, so initially means it will not have anything means uh, let's uh, run this so in this there is no uh, nothing has, has been added so on the startup means click on this application and in application properties whenever it, it starts means we can add the value uh, script here let's say means if you want to assign some of the uh, field values from the data source to this list box then add like list box uh, so we have list box we need to set items there so we can say set items and in this set items so what we can do means in value we can specify means what we wanted to add suppose means we have the data source added so we will say ds1 dot uh, get members list means so they, this is one option means this is one function which which will returns the dimension members from the uh, data source and it can assign to this so you whenever you get this option means uh, this function you will see the help uh, for that with the example as well means you will see means wh how what we can we need to add list box one dot set items then get member list whatever the component uh, dimension is there get that values first then the second attribute is of the internal key and then text key and the maximum number of items so it has this description means what is member presentation so presentation of member keys whether it is internal or external and textual display of the members how, how we wanted to display and the integer which is the maximum number of items to return so let's take this example so the first attribute we need to specify is dimension uh, so just press control space so you will get the dimensions which are associated with this so let's say we wanted to display country and member presentation we we need to set it as internal or external so whether it is an external key or internal key so we can say it's an internal key and what we wanted to display 
so on member display so what we were, whether we just want to, to display key or only text or key text or member displayed as text or member display displayed as text key so we can say uh, we wanted to display as text and key as well so that get these values max number suppose i want 50 items to be displayed and lastly i will give a semicolon so that so this way it, we can set the items for the list box and click on ok so now now it will not show up these values here but when we run this you will see these values get assigned to this okay so this is uh, this is the way we can assign the values to uh, list box from the drop down uh, now uh, what we can do we can have a drop down as well means uh, suppose we we wanted to have the drop down and same way means on the startup menu what we can do so in this in this uh, same script so we can have this function uh, instead of uh, list box one we can have drop down one dot set items and this one dot get member list means if there is a, a, any other fields which we wanted to uh, display uh, suppose we wanted to have oh, like calendar year then uh, we can say key text or case text key suppose this is okay so Let me let me have this values. I just uh, okay, let me copy this once again. Means I will show you. Means this is the drop down one. Dot set items. So get member list. Let's say means it is just country uh, we are having. So we can change it click on ok now if i run this this way we we can have these values okay so uh, this is uh, this is the way we can um, assign the values so the other way is which we can change the behavior of these uh, values uh, if there there is anything means we can uh, add the script here on select in on select we can uh, select uh, like suppose this is uh, means we can use if and uh, then else uh, statement uh, to change the behavior and let's add a radio button as well means if i uh, i wanted to have a radio button values so here what we can do is uh, we can manually add these values like suppose this is the first value is um, USA India okay so this is uh, this these two values are there means we can change its behavior means whatever values uh, we wanted to other uh, the other uh, things we can have on the startup only we can have this option you can say radio button dot uh, add item or set item you can just say ds1 
from here also we can we can have these values like suppose i wanted to add uh, this is one value which i wanted to add in this just just we can say or um, this is a manual means if i say ts uh, underscore one dot get member list we can use this is calendar month suppose i wanted to display their member re representation as internal key Number display as let's say text and max uh, number as let's see. Okay. So if I run this, you will see these values got added to this uh, radio group, the month and year. Okay, so like this we can bound the data to these particular components. So. I will be taking another example uh, to show you how we can change the behavior of the any component by using these values. Means suppose I am choosing this value, then how how we can change the behavior with the scripting functions. So I will be taking the, that in next video. I hope you have understood these uh, concepts. If you have any questions, then please put it in the comment section. And if you like my video, then please like it and subscribe to my channel so that you will get to know about my next uh, init video. Thank you for watching.